get the whole story. And welcome back. You're watching KTN News Center. Let's continue with our coverage. Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musioka has reiterated that he will not join the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Kalonzo spoke to KTN News political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor on wide ranging issues, among them the 2022 elections and the lessons learned. Uh, now, leave you with that exclusive interview. I'll be back at 1 o'clock with News Desk and Purity Musianzuki. Keep watching. Are you going to run for office in 2027 as president? I can very quickly tell you yes or no. But the, the more decent approach is, this is always a product of consultation. I'm not my own person. I belong to this country. I belong to a political party called Wiper Democratic Movement. So if my party and its leadership, the National Executive Council, the Delegates Conference, we had a very successful delegates conference in Kasarani, by the way, when they endorsed me to run for 2022. And I'm quite sure they understood. This is why some people uh, wrongly accused me of prevaricating before deciding to team up with Raila and Mother. Because I had to consult those many delegates, their own way, wherever we could reach them. So uh, my candidature, therefore, would depend on the consultations. Um, and I can tell you as Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, the buffalo soldier, I think I'll be bigger than the buffalo. Yeah, uh, when that comes and my party, that, that time comes, and my party decides to give me the mantle, then I will fight like I've never fought before to lead this country. Because this country needs leadership even now, even before 2027. We are all leading, and particularly now within Azimio La Umoja One Kenya, we are leading. We are leading because we are ready to tell the UDA administration that they are wrong here, they are right here, we can support them here, we cannot support them. That's why we came out that strongly in, in the 100 days performance when we highlighted point by point the mistakes they made. But I hope I've answered your question. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, we are ready and willing, but more importantly, I ask for prayers of Kenyans. This thing, by the way, leadership comes from God. <laughs> and if I keep on saying I'm going to run and God is not of the same view, it can't happen. Mm -hmm. Leadership, therefore, comes from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so, so that we can avoid uh, these things about uh, state capture. State capture. Right now, it's going to be difficult, this period up to 2027. We are dealing with an administration that wants to control the affairs of this country in a totalitarian manner. The judiciary has been captured. And I don't think we need to go, uh, you and I need to delve into the issues of the uh, Supreme Court and the decision and the subsequent pronouncements by the administration on how they want to reward the judiciary mm -hmm. as if they are not entitled on their own right I'm an officer of the High Court of Kenya. Um, Parliament has been captured, even soon after the elections. We saw some of our affiliate parties to Azimio La Moja in Kenya being bought off. Um, I dare say that even the church has also been captured. And I'm seeing that a lot of, some, some senior people now are ready, and even ordinary clergy, and I know, I'm sure you know, and our viewers know, that I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. All right? Mm -hmm. But it pains me to see the church being compromised with money. Just like it pained me to see leaders bribing voters with a 100 shillings note, 50 shillings note, on a queue. It was so terrible uh, that uh, a lot of leaders who are in parliament today, and I don't blame them, because that is what was started by Uda in the first place. A million shillings to the youth, a million shillings to the women, and then they are left to divide. To divide, they have to form a queue. <laughs> and then everybody took, took the queue then. Mm -hmm. 
And it was 100 shillings, 100 shillings. What have we done to the psyche of the Kenyan people? Therefore, my recommendation is the National Assembly and the Senate should really look at this matter of campaign financing bill and go into details. Otherwise, in 2027, it will be impossible for anybody, if a young person like you, Chair um, uh, uh, Tor, yes. Emmanuel, yeah. wants to run for member or which is your constituency? Uh, Mosop. Mosop. If you want to run as MP for Mosop, unless you, you have 20 million in your account, you have no chance. And yet we are talking about helping the hustler nation. So we have set the bar beyond the reach of the ordinary people. Young people talented like you cannot get into positions of leadership because you don't have the money. Okay. And therefore, they're going to be busy, therefore, to steal the money. That's what I'm saying, state capture. When they were asked to declare their net worth because before they appointed CSAs or PSAs, a lot of them put a lot of uh, high figures because they want to work towards that high figure. Mm. So in 2027, nobody will say, how come you are four billion worth mm -hmm. and you declared you are two, one billion? They said, that's what I declared. Okay. So, Vice President. So, state capture. That's the problem we have now. All right. So, uh, th th of course, uh, questions about Ruth, President William Ruto's administration uh, four months into office. Have they performed according to what they were supposed to do? How would you rate them in a scale of one to ten? I was never very good in mathematics, <laughs> but I did. I got, mm -hmm. I got a pass. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's a mathematical calculation issue, though. Mm -hmm. But we gave, as I said earlier on, we gave our own point-by-point -point evaluation of the first 100 days of this government. And clearly they failed. They started with appointing judges who are not worthy to be appointed, I'm sorry to say, mm -hmm. uh, because you look at what were the reasons. If President Uhuru was to give reasons as to each one, why, each of the, why he had to disagree with the recommendations mm -hmm. of the Judicial Service Commission, mm -hmm. Kenyans would be shocked. Okay. But never mind, they are now uh, appointees, they are judges of the Supreme Court, of, of, the, the, height, court of, of, the, of the Court of Appeal. Yes. And I wish each of them well. Okay. But, uh, Unga, <laughs> they say they needed to be given 100 days to bring the cost of living down. My friend, Emmanuel, they went back quickly and said, give us a year. <laughs> Sorting it out. They did away with subsidies, which were negotiated by former President uh, Uhuru, because he wanted his people to have food on the table. I agree that uh, you cannot run an economy on the basis of subsidy. Mm -hmm. But please don't allow yourself to be pushed by Bretton Woods institutions to drink poison. So they've been, poison has been pushed down their throat. Okay. And the result is parents don't even have the wherewithal to take their children to school. Look at the confusion of a uh, CBC, curriculum-based uh, uh, approach. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows how you're going to build uh, we have 14,000 because the number of polling stations equals the number of primary schools. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to build 14,000 uh, together in laboratories and classrooms mm -hmm. for, for class 6 going to junior? Because mm -hmm. it was taken, decision was taken at Wakai Hapo. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. You have confusion. Therefore, mm -hmm. I'll give them 2 out of 10. The emphasis, the concern should be on feeding our people. Right. Should be getting our people to have little food on the table. Mm -hmm. Should be getting our parents and, 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 and Kenyan's parents to take their children to school. Oh. Had as Mula Moja won, this January would be a wonderful time for them to know free secondary education and free tertiary education. That is not happening. So it's a depressed situation. This economy is already in recession. All right. So um, have you been approached by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration to join them in any capacity? No, I don't know. Approach, what, I don't know what you mean by approach. Have you, has President Ruto uh, called you or approached you? No, we tried? talked about that. I don't want to talk about <coughs> a conversation <laughs> between me and the president. Mm -hmm. He talked about something in Kitui, and I said I can't respond. That was before all these things, according to him. Mm -hmm. um, so, 
I thought the present is clear on uh, the need to have absolutely no handshake. Mm -hmm. So you have a, an official position and a government side mm -hmm. which he leads. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in opposition. And if there is no possibility of handshake, so what are we talking about? Therefore, assum uh, the assumption is nobody <laughs> would want to approach me. I've not been approached. All right? And, um, and, and it is right. So let us actually, because the issue is not Kalonzo Musioka, the issue is this country. I know that um, people from my backyard will be given uh, handouts here and there, or given one position in government there, uh, a CS was almost dropped out, and Wiper had to come to defend uh, <laughs> that appointee because uh, Malonza Penina was supposed to be dropped out. She was the only victim of that vetting. Mm -hmm. My party came out there, and the lady who beat her in the uh, election as county women rep, and Dr. Irene Casalo, made an appointment, I mean, made an amendment to the motion, said she must be included. And imagine that kind of gesture. Irene Casalo got over 200,000 votes. Penina got, I think, 70,000. And magnanimity. Say, this is here now community interest. Why are you uh, appointing so and so the others are not Penina? So Penina escaped. So there will be many a Peninas to be given this, mm -hmm. be given that. Mm -hmm. So that community should receive these goodies with open arms. And to know if it was not because of me, they would not be given. <laughs> Okay, correct, correct. so I'm very expensive, I'm very, very expensive. <laughs> maybe to that extent, mm -hmm. maybe you can say I've been approached because mm -hmm. they're going to bribe my people with this and the other. So when that comes, as we always say, it is your right to have a state appointment, it is your right to get whatever comes mm -hmm. your way. Yes. Yeah. All right. But I agree with William Ruto mm -hmm. that we should have a, an opposition and a government side. Okay. He proposed that we create the position of the official, the leader of the official opposition. Do you support that? I've said that uh, if it is in good faith, yeah, fine. But if it is in good faith, or rather he brings it as a separate matter, mm -hmm. not to put it together, agenda, I don't know what else is there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I know that uh, when he was campaigning, mm -hmm. he was himself pushing for it. And it's a matter which was also in the BBI. Mm -hmm. So I think they should be bold enough and say, let us Get those BBA recommendations. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, President, uh, the former president, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, is supposed to leave the Zimio as the chairperson. I don't know. When was that decision taken? Uh, it is a requirement, and we've spoken to some of his uh, lieutenants. Yes. And they said that uh, uh, for him to receive some of the goodies that are there in the constitution. What goodies? Uh, He's uh, a retired president, I'm a retired vice president, not retired, mm -hmm. I'm a former vice president, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And look at the act, nothing bars you from enjoying your constitutional rights. So it is Uhuru's constitutional right to hold p <laughs> political opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think, and he's, in, he's a chair of the coalition, I've not heard him tell us he's relinquishing. Mm -hmm. so, so that is, Lieutenant, who are these? Uh, yeah, we've spoken to the, uh, the, the, the former vice chair, actually the vice chairperson of Jubilee, David Murade, and he confirmed that uh, he will be leaving. When did you last talk to David Murade? About two weeks ago. Well, I think Uhuru himself, I met Uhuru before, two, before mm -hmm. the end of the year, mm -hmm. and I actually put that question to him. Mm -hmm. It never happened. So uh, David Murade has no mandate to speak on behalf of Uhuru Kenyatta. In so, this matter, Uru, if it is right, first of all, you brief his coalition partners. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a normal way. Yeah, and he has not briefed us. So, in your opinion, he's not living. I don't know. I don't know. Now that you are saying that, mm -hmm. I would love to cross check. Okay. But when I last checked, mm -hmm. and I asked him directly that question, he said these are things we were talking about. He told you he's still there. He will be there. No, listen. We were sitting as coalition. Azumio La Moja, one Kenya, mm -hmm. all right? And he's the current chair. The issue of replacing him, put it this way, has not arisen. All right. So whom do you believe, Murade or Kalonzo? 
I think I'll, I'll <laughs> leave the principle. <laughs> I will ask Morede where he got his information. Okay. And uh, going forward, uh, if from the, the elections, we've seen some of the uh, MPs that were allied to Azimio moving to the Kenya Kwanzaa side. Do you think Azimio Lomoja will still be there and remain relevant until 2027? Because we've seen sure NASA crumble. I know that crumbling, that's a terrible word you're using. NASA, okay, you decided to disagree. You decided to, to dis disagree with who? Don't you think KK can also disagree? I've seen a, a push <laughs> to put all these parties into one party. Yes. Don't you think, and I, if I checked with, I speak to Eta, everybody knows we speak, a speaker. Mm -hmm. and, and he told me he's not in the category of a state officer. Therefore, he's not relinquishing his position as, as, a, as a party leader of Ford Kenya. Do you think he's going to be in a hurry to put Ford Kenya to make it order? I don't think so. So he can also crumble on their side, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Crumbling, no. Mm -hmm. Right now, Azmiola Moja and Kenya is strong. We are holding together. If one or two members of parliament are hoodwinked into joining KK, they must know that it is now less than five years for them to leave leadership. Because when Angel watch, they elected you as a member of Azmiola Moja. Mm -hmm. If you now relinquish without checking with them, they'll wait for you and throw you out, for sure. And history is full of those cases. Okay. Uh, what, why did Azimir lose the election? Why did Raila Odinga? How can I answer a question like the Manu? No, your opinion about it. First of all, is uh, IBC. Azimir did not lose the election. Right now, Azimir, through Raila Odinga as a flag bearer, is asking for an audit of that election. And until the results of that audit are known, you cannot say Azimio lost. All right? Mm -hmm. We believe that we, Azimio did not lose. What happened is Shabukati, in the minority as a commission, went ahead to announce one side the winner. And then Azimio went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, in, a, in a, an amazing decision, amazing, and I'm talking to you as a lawyer, where they are saying that even the lawyers who are putting, what they are putting forth was hot air. Mm -hmm. And the truth might come. I'm myself suggesting in the future elections, particularly in 2027, let us consider going back to manual voting. Because this electronic voting is subject to serious abuse. And this is not just happening in Kenya. People need to ask themselves, is democracy going to survive in the face of people? Mandarins who meet you in Dubai say, I'll make you president, give me a million dollars. And they do it. This is, in my view, what happened is mathematic. So would you say, would you then go ahead and ask me that question again, Emmanuel? Why did Azmiu lose? Azmiu did not lose the election. They said they didn't pay your agents on time. No, what have agents to do? Actually, agents, agents are there just to make sure that they sign at the end. But if there's a proper officer, IABC officer, the returning officer, mm -hmm. they should tabulate the outcome. So it is not about agents. Okay. No. In any event, agents or no agents, Azimio did not lose the election. All right. So as we wrap it up because of the time you gave me, the, uh, three, the four commissioners, two of them resigned. One is still facing trial. Um, I like that, facing yes. trial. Yes. <laughs> because it's an unfortunate trial. Yeah. I so. wish uh, Commissioner Masit well. She's brave. Uh, because you cannot have peace in a country without justice. So electoral justice is what Azmio now will be asking for. I repeat electoral justice. Without electoral justice, you cannot have genuine peace. Without economic justice as well where you are dropping all economic related charges, right? And allowing uh, people who have stolen to get away with their loot. How do you expect of prosperity? What would be your advice to the president right now? Advice yako to moja to namu advice. Hey, unite the country, Vanna. Hey, don't, 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 um, uh, what is it? Don't begin this, continue this habit of poaching. Poaching, it's undemocratic. Yeah, play your, your role as a head of state, 
we will be there to support you as opposition because it is a loyal opposition. But we need to get the ground rules. When citizens decide to have peaceful demonstrations, do not panic. It is their right under the law. Thank the you. supreme law of the land, Constitution 2010. Thank you so much.